In this video, we are going to be creating this accordions component by just using HTML and CSS, no JavaScript, no nothing. So if you just click on this one accordion, so it will collapse the above and it will open this one. That's because we are going to be toggling our active class. So you are going to see that just in a second. So if you click on this one, so it will hide this one and it will open this one. Okay, so this is how it looks like. So without wasting any time, now let's jump right into our coder and write our code. Now in the previous video, we've created this tooltip by just using HTML and CSS. In this video, we are going to be creating an accordion component by just using HTML and CSS. No JavaScript, no CSS preprocessors like SAS and etc. But just HTML and CSS. So later on in this course, we are going to be also creating an accordion component by using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. But in this specific video we are going to be just building it by just using html and css so starting from the first thing which is o10 project and now we have to do we have to give a name of like accordion and now here in there inside this folder i want to create two files the first one will be index.html and the second one will be style style.css file so now let's write our html code so i'm gonna write doc type html and here i'll just give a name of like accordion and now I'll just link it with css okay so so now let's open it in our live server so i'm gonna just right click on it and go with live and now let's collapse this metadata as well okay so the first thing which you have to do is that we have to just write a ul with the id of accordion and inside this ul we are going to be writing our li inside this li we are going to be writing our label and the first four we are going to be writing a first and one is html you can put whatever question you like and then we are going to be writing our span right here and then here we are going to be using an html entity so if you guys don't know about html entity you will just see that just in a second so the first thing which you have to do is to just write an and symbol then pound symbol then write x and then three nine then 3e to be precise not 9 and now let's close it by just writing a colon right there and then the next thing underneath uh, the label we have to just write an input and it will be a radio and now let's give him a name of like accordion and now the funny thing which you have to do is to just provide an id to it so i'll just give an id of first and then we have to put an attribute of checked and this will just go for the first one not for all of them underneath this input box we have to also create a div with a class of content okay and then here inside this content we are going to be just writing like uh let me just go to uh google and just sort of search for like what is html okay so then we have to just copy this text you can just provide a lorem ipsum like a random text if you want to but in my case i'm not going to go there so I'll just duplicate a few times like what is HTML, what is CSS, what is JavaScript, what is React and what is Node.js. So now let's change these text to like what is, uh, first of all let's, let me change this uh, for and this ID. So this one was first one and this one is now the second one. So just close that. Second and then this one is third and then this one is fourth and the final one we have is a fifth okay so now let's change the text to like what is css and now let's ask google like what is css so it will give us this result now let me copy that from there to this place and now let's just html css paste it right here what is a uh, javascript uh javascript and now let's paste this text right here and then what is react our uh, react js so oh, come on misspelled it copy this text and i'm gonna paste it right here and then finally, what is node.js? So let's ask Google, like, what is uh, node.js? So it will give us this result. And node.js is an open source cross platform, etc. And then we will pass there here. All right, so now we are good to go. So we've changed the uh, IDs and we have to change the names as well. No, we shouldn't have to change the names, but we just have to change the for attribute and the ID as well. And now we have to just remove this check from all of them except the first one. So I'm gonna just select all of them except the first one, and now I'm gonna remove it. 
okay so this was it about html so now let me zoom out a bit so that you guys can see everything a bit clearer so here you can see we have a ul with the class of i with the id of accordion then we have a li and then inside this li we have a label and then inside this label we have this pen right here which will just show us this error right here this is known as a uh <laughs> error but this is coming from html entity okay so if you search for html entity so there is a lot of symbols you can use that you shouldn't have to just like um copy the library like uh font awesome or there's a lot of them so you can also choose this icon if you want to so and then we have a content uh, container inside this content container we have this paragraph which will just uh, render these text right here okay so now let me zoom in back and now let's jump right into our css and just start from the research okay so i'm gonna just write like padding of zero margin of also zero and box sizing of border box and now let's select our body and now background will be crimson you can choose whichever color or whichever um font you like my guess i'll just go with the background color of crimson and font family of send serif and now let's select that accordion which is right here and now let's provide a margin of 100 pixel and auto and the width will be just 600 pixels so once we save it and this is how it looks like currently right now okay so now let's select our accordion and also li so now we have to provide a list style of none style of none because we want to just remove those uh, styles and now let's just uh, format a bit so i'll provide a width of 100 percent and i'll just provide a margin bottom of 10 pixel and the background will be totally pure white and padding will be 10 pixels so save it and this is how it looks like currently right now so you have to just provide a bit of padding and set right here so now let's select that or you know what let me select all of that and paste it right here and also select that label and here i'm going to provide a padding of 10 pixel all around display will be flex justify content will be space between and align items will be center and font family uh, not font family but uh font size will be just a little bit bigger like 18 pixel and font weight will be 500 and we can change the color to like dodger blue um dodger blue or yeah i guess that would be fine and cursor will be pointer so once you save it and this is how it looks like currently right now and we can also see these um this radio button right here so now let's just remove that okay so i'm gonna select that first of all i'm gonna provide all of that and then label uh or you know plus input with the type of radio and we want to remove the display of none save it and that's not gone yet something is wrong we've got a accordion we've got a label label save it and that is gone now let's rotate this one to like 90 degrees so we can also do that by just writing like accordion and li and then we have to just write like label and span and now just provide a transform of rotation a little bit like 90 degree would be fine 90 deg and then the font size will be 22 pixel and then color will be that dodge blue dodge blue save it and this is how it looks like right now okay so now let's just tile these text a bit so that's that and then we have to select this accordion and now let's select that content which is right here inside this content we have this paragraph so now let's change that to padding will be zero from top and bottom and uh, 10 to left and right and line height will be just uh, 26 pixels will be fine and then max height will be zero for now because we want to increase that once we hover over to it or once we click on the button and now we provide an overflow of hidden and then the transition will be for max height and also from 0 0.5 seconds so this is how it looks like right now so once we click on this button or each accordion component so you want to provide a little bit of max height to it so this is what's going to happen right here so now we select our label and then also our input with the type okay type of radio and now let's select that if that's checked if some input is checked so we want the content to just provide a max height of 400 pixels save it and let's suppose that first one was checked by here so this one was checked so let's suppose if i click on this one 
Okay, click on that one. It's gonna happen. I don't know why. We've got our label, we've got our import, everything is fine. All right, so everything is working. Like this one is working, this one is working. Everyone is working except this one. So I guess there will be a little bit of mistake in the HTML code. So second and second, yeah. Sec save it and now it should work. So if I click on that, yep, it's working. All right, so that was a little bit of HTML and CSS. So now let me zoom out a bit and show you both codes side by side and what we are doing. All right, so we are just providing a background color and font family and then we are just centering everything and we are just providing a little bit of width to it. And then we are selecting that ally, like which one are you? We are selecting that ally and we are just providing a list style of none and we are providing a hundred percent of width and we are just providing a margin bottom of 10 pixel and background will be totally wide and padding will be just 10 pixel then we are selecting that label which is right here and then we have to, uh, we are providing like 10 pixel of label we are centering everything not centering but just spacing around like this one will take that place and this arrow or HTML entity will take this place and then we are centering in this component and then we have a font size and then we provide a little bit of uh, wear to it we change the color to dorget blue which here you can see there and we just provide a cursor pointer to it so like whenever we hover over to it so that mouse cursor will be changed and then we have uh, accordion we select this pen which is this pen right here and we just rotate there like 90 degree so here you can see that if i just remove that so here you can see this is going to look like that and if I just uh, rotate it, rotate it, so this is how it looks like. All right, so then we just select our radio button and we just remove their display. Often we just remove their uh, radius from there. And then we have our content. We are just providing padding and line height, max height and overflow of hidden. And we are providing a transition of 0 0.5 second seconds on max height so whenever we are providing a max height to it so it will take like 0 0.5 seconds so if i click on that it will take 0 0.5 seconds if i change this to like uh, i don't know like maybe two seconds save it and now if i click on this accordion component so it will take a little bit of time right here so here you can see that this is looking quite ugly so maybe i should just go with 0 0.5 and now if i click on that everything is cool all right so that was it about today's project so so if you guys don't know about git and github so feel free to skip this video and jump right into the next one or if you already know git and github so now i'm going to push my code to my github repository so that everyone have access to that code so if you want to stick around so i'm going to just push my code to my github repository i want to just write like git status <laughs> so we have a uh, out 10 so i'm going to just write like git add of everything and then git commit of dash m uh accordion uh component added uh head enter. and now get push everything to the master or main branch now it's man it used to be a master branch anyhow so now our code is live i refresh that and now here you will see 09 of tooltip Online of tooltip, where the hell is our out? Okay, so it's right here. Uh, accordion component. So we have our index.html file and we have our codes right here. And then we have a style.css file. And we have all of this code right here, which we just wrote in the second ago. So, what is a Node.js? I don't care. And you shouldn't have to either. So, I think that was it about today's video. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.